Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior. And today, guys, we're watching another Best Class Setup episode. Now, I know it's been quite a while since I brought you guys one of these episodes, but um, I wanted to get uh, a new episode out just because I found a gun in the game that is extremely good, and um, I think you guys will enjoy using it. And that gun is the FAD. Now, the FAD is a pretty good gun, really great rate of fire, really great range, really great accuracy, really great f rate of fire, but um, there's just something about the gun that makes me not really like it. I mean, it is a great gun, like I said, it has all those things going for it, but it's just something about the way the gun feels, the way it, like, the way it looks that I makes me just, like, not want to use it, and for that reason, I don't think it's one of the best guns in the game, but, however, if you are able, able to get over, kind of, the iron sights and just the way it looks and how it kind of looks like a underwater sea creature, um, you can find a lot of success with this gun. Now, it should be popping up on your screen, the class setup, uh, on your screen right now, and the first thing you'll probably notice is it is pretty similar to all my other best class setups because I found like a certain set of perks and a certain setup that basically works best for any assault rifle in the game. And that is with foregrip and suppressor, this gun has a decent amount of recoil, but uh, foregrip definitely always helps that out to reduce the recoil no matter how much or how little recoil the gun has to begin with. And then I have sleight of hand because it is a pretty long reloading weapon and I have stalker just because I like that um, being able to pre-aim and ADS is, is extremely helpful uh, to help you kind of get the extra jump on the enemy in gunfights and then I have dead silence and amplify just because those two kind of work together can't really use one without the other and then I have focus because I cannot win a gunfight without it and then for the strike package I am using specialist just because that is always best to get a chem strike with uh, with hardline just because assist counts as kills are absolutely huge when going for a chem strike and obviously getting it one kill earlier um, can really help you out and then I have scavengers because you're going to run out of ammo some point in your streak and I would use fully loaded but fully loaded kind of um, you know, this fully loaded doesn't give you enough ammo to get a chem strike, and I figure there's no point having fully loaded and scavenger on, might as well just have scavenger. Um, and then I have dead eye just because it doesn't really seem to do too much, but I just like having the red boxes come up on my screen. Um, just so it feels like it's doing something, I feel like Superman running around getting like two shots on kids. And then the specialist bonus, I have quick draw, just because quick draw gives you that kind of extra, um, jump on your enemy so you can pre-aim faster, um, and then combined with Stalker, it is extremely deadly. Then I have off the grid, just keep me off the grid, um, no pun intended. But just keep me, you know, off the radar, off basically from just out of harm's way. And then I have Blast Shield, because I don't want to die one off to a stupid fucking IED. So that is about it for the class setup, guys. You can watch the gameplay and enjoy it in the back, but I wanted to talk about something that literally happened to me, um, minutes ago. So I just turned on my Xbox and went to the multiplayer screen and I expected to see so superior, you know, with my Doom clan tag, 10th prestige, level 60 like I do every single time I I turn on my Xbox. But no. I see level 1 just with the normal just brand new FNG symbol um with nothing, no squad points or anything, completely brand new like a fresh account. And um you know, this this absolutely sucks cuz I have like 10 plus days played. I almost have 11 days played on this game. Um, and I, I, the reason I haven't made a new account previous to this, like normally in past Call of Duty's, I'll make a bunch of new accounts just to see uh, how good I can get my stats. But I didn't want to do in this game. You know, I wanted to see like how much total time played I had, how many total kills I had, and just kind of max everything out. And so the fact that I get reset for what I assume was spawn trapping was kind of stupid. And, you know, to think that Infinity Ward, like their big punishment for spawn trapping, was just to reset my rank to one. Um, it's kind of stupid, because bad players are always going to be bad. It doesn't matter what rank the better players are. You know, a, like, the best Call of Duty player in the game is still going to be the best Call of Duty player, whether he's 10th prestige level 60 or he's level 1. You know, just because I got reset, that does not mean I'm not going to spawn trap. I'm going to continue to trap, continue to just play Call of Duty like i normally been played. If they reset me, you know, fuck them. So, it is extremely annoying. Um, if I go to the leaderboards right now, though, it does say that I have all 69,000 kills. Haha, <laughs> 69. But all 69,000 kills um, that I've gotten. But I'm not sure if after I go into my first game, if that's going to reset or not. But it is extremely annoying that I put all this work and all this time in into an account. And just because I've progressed so much as a Call of Duty player and gotten so much better than... Um, than like the worst Call of Duty player that I get punished for that. I think that is extremely stupid and um, I hope Infinity Ward kind of acknowledges their mistakes and gives me everything back because I think it is absolutely stupid that I put days and days and days into this account and everything's just gone just because you know I've, I've learned the game and I've learned how to manipulate it and play it so um, leave a like if you feel bad for me <laughs> Drop a comment down below letting me know if you got reset or anyone else got reset. Feel free to check out my live stream because I should be live streaming right now when you guys wa are watching this video. Other than that, have a fantastic day everybody. I am out.